Our next speaker is uh, Robert Charles Radford. Some people say that the human race seems destined to commit racial suicide. Some people say that. I once took a course in suicide intervention when I worked for a crisis line in the East Kootenays. And I learned a suicide intervention tactic that really works. And it helped me to save the life of a teenage suicidal person. This kid was seriously suicidal. After examinations by two independent groups of doctors and nurses, he was put under constant observation in the psychiatric wing of the of a local hospital. What I did was to offer the kid something he may not have thought of and that I thought he might want to do instead of commit suicide. I loaned him my telephone calling card and I told him to phone all his old friends back east and ask to go visit them. The old friends told him they would love to have him visit them. And when he was seen making plans for the future, he was released from the hospital and got started on a new life. I have something I want to offer to the people of the world, something they may have not, something they may have forgotten, something they may not have known at all, but something I think they might want to do instead of committing suicide. I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm not selling anything. I'm not even trying to get votes. Just being part of this endangered humanity, I just want us to get off this compulsion to self-extermination. I confess that having been educated, trained, and experienced in science, I have been just as guilty as anyone else in the denial, rejection, and ridicule of a natural human characteristic that didn't fit in with my understanding of science. It wasn't until I exchanged correspondence with Apollo astronaut Edgar Mitchell that I was introduced some, to some theories of quantum physics which give scientific credulity to some of the experiences which I have. Experiences like I think everybody has in their lives. Experiences which led me to think that I was feeling the happiness, sadness, or compassion of other people. Experiences which led me to think that other people were detecting my levels of sincerity, honesty, and deceit. A quick scan of the internet revealed to me that there are many hundreds of things which we experience things like affection, cheerfulness, and dejection, states of being which have no scientific reality, but which are very real to people like you and me and are very important influences in our lives, sometimes more important than things that we can hear and see and smell and taste or touch. It began to dawn on me that maybe the fixation on the old physical sciences by people like me has distracted us from our awareness and use of a natural and much more comprehensive and informative means of communicating with each other by exchanging feelings about our states of being. For example, I was at a conference down in California and a good friend, John, mentioned that he had a new girlfriend. Oh, exclaimed one of the others at the conference. What is your new girlfriend like, John? Suddenly, I was overwhelmed by the most wonderful feelings of tenderness, affection, and love. I said, wow, John, what wonderful feelings. Thank you. But the others kept pressing John to tell them about his girlfriend, and I realized that in a fraction of a second, I had learned more about John's relationship with his girlfriend than any number of words could possibly express. I undertook a life experiment. I tried to become more consciously aware of the states of being which I detected in my communications with others. Feelings like anger, fear, happiness, and love. Also, I tried to become more consciously aware 
of the states of being which I was feeling at any given time. And to choose those states of being, like authenticity, certainty, and confidence, which I would be proud to have other people associate with me. As the psychiatrist Viktor Frankl pointed out years ago, the freedom to choose how we respond to any situation or event is one freedom which nobody can take away from us without our permission. We always have the freedom to choose how we feel. After a few years in my life experiment, I have significantly increased my enjoyment of the company of others. My wife and I have been blessed with good health and many unexpected and delightful creature comforts. And my life has become filled with feelings of peace, happiness, and fulfillment. And all it took was for me to become more consciously aware of the states of being of myself and those around me. This is not new stuff I'm talking about. This stuff has been around since day one. The first book in the Christian Bible, Genesis chapter 11, verse 1 states, Now the whole earth had one language and few words. I am sure that many of you can remember experiences in your lives in which your awareness of the feelings of others has played a role. For various reasons, many of us have allowed religious, scientific, corporate, and political bullies to persuade us to deny and reject the inborn human characteristics which are the most important in our relationships with others. There are growing movements throughout the world today where people want to reject the bullies and to reclaim our basic human freedoms. The more people who become consciously aware of the feelings which they exchange and with which they influence each other, then the more people there will be to help each other to get off the slide to human extinction. I offer an alternative to racial suicide, which I think is more attractive. I call it communicating feelings. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to work for it. It's a gift we all already have. You just have to be willing to choose to be aware of and to use your natural inborn abilities to communicate feelings. You have to be willing to recognize that you are always choosing how you feel. You choose to feel hurt or not. Nobody else can make that choice for you. I know of many people in the world today, which I've been fortunate to meet, who have chosen to consciously use their ability to communicate feelings and their freedom to choose how to feel, and who are enjoying lives filled with peace, happiness, and fulfillment. Try it. I think you'll like it. 